Today marks 40 years since the MV Lake Illawarra slammed into Hobart's Tasman Bridge. 12 lives were lost in the disaster, but the memories of these survivors linger on. Reporter Andrew McCarthy has been speaking to many of those caught up in the chaos and begins our coverage. At 9.27pm January 5th, 1975, a bulk ore carrier is veering dangerously off course on the eastern side of the Derwent. Seconds later, disaster and a city divided. Wiping out two pylons and bringing down a 127 metre section of road, the MV Lake Illawarra is sinking fast. Above, the unthinkable is happening as cars go over and down with the ship. The night would claim 12 lives, but others were lucky. I hit the brakes and I said, I can't, she won't stop. So we kept going. The next thing we went hanging, up, hanging over the bridge. And uh, then the wife said, put it in reverse, put it in reverse. I said, stop, reverse, bloody well, we'll get out. Frank's wife Sylvia says the memories of 40 years ago will linger forever. It is still stressful, even after 40 years. They say you forget, but you don't forget. It's always there in the back of your mind. These days, David Brown is a Channel 7 weather presenter. Back then, he was a 14-year-old aboard a bus flagged down by Frank. And as we're driving, we just went over the apex, and then all of a sudden, darkness, but headlights coming straight towards us and then disappearing, just plunging down. Television technician Bruce Wood says the impact felt like an earthquake around Hobart's inner suburbs. He shot the first of many timeless images from the bridge's edge using a 16mm film camera. It was chaos because no one knew what had actually happened even at that point. They realised the bridge was down but they didn't know how many people had gone over or what. So it was, yeah, it was, I vividly remember it and it was a wet, drizzly night. It was just really quite, quite uncomfortable. Before Robert Clifford made his name within CAT, he was operating ferries on the Derwent. His two vessels, the Matthew Brady and James McCabe, were dispatched to the scene minutes after impact. Mr Clifford's growing fleet destined to be the heartbeat of a broken city during the two-year reconstruction. We started work the next morning at six o'clock and we had queues a mile long to get onto the ferries and uh, no way we could collect the money so we didn't even try. We Clarence Mayor Doug Chipman says despite the tragedy, the next few years saw the eastern shore come of age. By the time the bridge reopened, the area had gone from a sleepy satellite suburb to a thriving municipality. As a result of the bridge disaster, people had to be more resilient. They had to devise new ways of educating their kids, of getting to work, uh, finding health care and so on and so forth. And as for the future of Tasmania's most famous Monaro, Frank and Sylvia are determined to keep it in the state as a moving tribute to those lost and those who survived. A couple of months of the year, I wouldn't mind putting, putting it in at the museum. It's a part of Tasmanian history. We've had offers from someone on the mainland once, $50,000. And I laughed. Andrew McCarthy, Southern Cross News. And tonight, a special ceremony is being held to mark the occasion. For more details, our reporter Caitlin Barry is near the Tasman Bridge. Caitlin, what's happening there tonight? Rachel, later tonight, a ceremony will be held on the bridge itself, marking this massive moment in Hobart's history. Rescue workers, officials, survivors and family members are all set to turn out. Lights on the bridge will be dumbed at 9.27, the precise moment the MV Lake Illawarra veered off course and struck the bridge. A moment's silence will be held and a plaque also unveiled. Now for motorists in the area, police will be closing access to the bridge from 9.15 until 9.35. So if you do need to travel, make sure you take this into account. It's set to be a night of reflection, Rachel, on an event that literally tore this city apart all those years ago. Yeah, an amazing story. Thanks for that, Caitlin. Caitlin Barry there at the bridge.